John. No more on the tragedy on Lake Hartwell. Investigators say two young children died after a boat sank last night in Anderson County. Tonight, investigators say the woman who was behind the wheel of the boat is under arrest. Don Thompson of Easley is facing two felony counts of DUI with a water device resulting in death. WIFF News 4's Angela Rodriguez has the latest. We are just off of Hudgens Lake Road. And this is where investigators say the boat sank last night. The red buoy is where dive teams found the body of a five-month-old baby boy early this morning. A nine-year-old was also killed in this tragedy. And investigators tell us the boat was just feet from docking. Investigators say 12 people were on board a pontoon-style boat returning from Party Island when the boat started taking on water and flipped just after 8.30 Sunday night. Some of the witnesses stated it happened so quick they didn't realize until they were wet what had happened. So, I mean, it just, they didn't know what was, what was coming. Investigators say nine-year-old Christian Henderson was pulled from the water by a family member. He was flown to the hospital where he died. Divers searched for five-month-old Timothy Dragu for nearly three hours before they recovered his body. Investigators say the baby was found at the bottom of Lake Hartwell. The woman accused of operating the boat while intoxicated, Don Thompson, was visibly emotional before her bond hearing started this afternoon. It was a total accident. Please do everything you can to help me. It was a total. It wouldn't have been any different. Everything. I love them children like my own. The judge denied Thompson's bond, even though she had never been arrested before. Thompson had this message for her family. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I wish I could take every bit of it back. On the shoreline, perfect strangers have started a memorial to honor the innocent lives lost. People who were on shore here last night tell us it didn't look like the boat was going too fast. They tell us it looked like there were simply too many people on the front of that boat, and that may have been what shifted the balance. The DNR is looking at that as part of the investigation, but because alcohol was involved in this case, investigators consider this a preventable tragedy. Angela Rodriguez, WYFF News 4, Anderson County. A jet ski crash.